Hi guys, Hui Raptor with step 6 on how to assemble the Tivo Black Widow. The last step ended with the installation of both lead screws. So now we will start by placing the top pulleys. Just slide them in. Do not worry about the position just yet. Next, place the top lock collars. And don't worry about the position of these two. Place the end plates on top. We just want to use them as reference for the lock collars position. Now adjust the position of the lock collar so that it's touching the bearing and tighten the side screw. At the end, take the end plates out. Get the closed belt and put it in. Just drop it in for now. Do the same thing for the other side. In step 4, we confirm the distance between the vertical beams and the length of the top profile and all, so let's go ahead and install the top profile. And this time, permanently. Remember the top end plates and the bearings check we did in step 4. Make a shim if the bearing has play in the recess and then install the top end plates. Grab the Z-Motor mount plate and B12 bag. Assemble the stepper motor to the motor mount and the idlers, as described in the manual. The idlers must not get any wobble and must be able to spin freely.
Adjust the Z motor pulley to the same height of the two idlers. Tighten the set screws. Make sure that the pulley is not touching the stepper motor. Find the center of the top profile and use a pencil to make a small mark. Secure the Z motor assembly on the bottom side of the top profile. Rotate the lead screws clockwise and counterclockwise just a little bit and try to feel the moment when the lead screw starts to pick up the X gantry. Do this for both lead screws. Now install the belt through the idlers and around the pulley. Adjust the height of the pulley. Make sure your belt is leveled. Give a bit of tension with the Z stepper motor. You can secure the Z motor temporarily with only two screws.
You can use a small Allen key to check if your belt is leveled. Rotate the motor pulley to lower the X gantry. Now, to level the X gantry, the best technique is to use two objects of the same height, one on each side. The community guys suggest to use two soda cans. Uh, when I upgrade my tarantula with the Dual Z, I used the same technique, but used two exact size blocks. So, well, anything will work, as long as both objects have the same height. A bubble level is an option, but is not as fast and easy, in my opinion. And you have to make sure that your work surface is perfectly leveled, so I don't recommend using one. Let's use the soda cans and place them one on each side. Use the Z motor pulley to drive both lead screws again and lower the X gantry until they are very very close to the can. One side will touch the can first, so stop there and adjust the side that does not touch the can. Release the set screw, hold the pulley with your finger and rotate the lead screw until that side is touching the can. You can use a gap meter if you want to be extra accurate. Go ahead and tighten the set screws. Now pull the Z motor back and give tension to the belt and tighten all four screws. Rotate the Z motor pulley by hand to test the leveling of the X gantry again. And repeat the adjustment if you need to. Ok, take the cans out and have a drink because this completes the Z stepper motor installation and X gantry leveling. We will continue the build in the next video. So stay tuned.